Hello. Once again, it's your boy Black Zero with another uh, gun to review. This build is a very unique part of a series I've been doing where I combine I combine Gundams from Iron Blood Orphan with Ronin Warriors or Samurai Warriors or uh, they got another name for them I just recently found out. Uh, but the Ronin Warriors combined with Iron Blood Orphan Gundams. How would that turn out? So far in the series, we've managed to do four. We've done Ryo and Wildfire, which we took the Grimmin we took the Grimmin Day Gundam that McGillis uses, the secret Gundam that he uses, uh, when he has the mask on. So we took that Gundam and we mixed it with Wildfire. Ryo of Wildfire. We took the Rage of Inferno Armored Gundam mixed it with Barbados so we have a Inferno Armored Barbados and that build was fire probably one of the best builds I've done yet as far as customizing then we took the another McGillis Gundam the Bale we took the Bale and we mixed it with the Kale Gundam Warlord of Destruction I think I think Kale is the Warlord of Destruction. So we took the Gale Gundam. Uh, we took the we took Kale, the Warlord of Destruction, and kit bashed him with the Bale. McGillis Gundam. Now all these IBO Gundams, the qual the um, rules for them is that they have to be one one hundred scale. So the one one hundred scale full mechanic IBO Gundams. We took them, we combined them with with um Samurai Warriors, Ronin Warriors. So, the fourth one that, that, that we did, we took Sai and the Torres. Look at him. Sai and the Torres. And combined them with yet another McGillis Gundam, which is the Schwab, I think it's the Schwabe, the Schwabe, the Schwabble. Gray's Gundam, the special blue unit Gray's Gundam, and we end up combining it. So we took the Ronin Warrior action figure kit from the nineties. Not this one. This one here is the collectible. This is this this, this is the collectible figure. So this is the collectible version of Side Torres, but we took his Ronin Warrior nineties figure. And what we do is we take the armor and the helmets and pieces up from the armor and we incorporate it onto the Gundam. So, we took a piece of the helmet. And this is from the helmet. This piece here is from the helmet. Piece here is from the arm. Piece here is from the shoulder. Piece here is from the shoulder. Uh... right there is from something on the armor but anyways it comes from the armor this comes from the foot this comes from the foot which would be this piece right here on him so this piece right here that's what that is so we have all these cool pieces that, that, that we combine look at this you see that so that came from the arm that came from the arm as well so let's look have the claw right here size right on we have the claw right here on the Schwabe on the Schwabe Grays right here in the left arm look at these this, I mean this this Gundam is awesome looking I mean this motherfucker looks nice. look he's got battle damage on the skull cap look add on part so we customized that, added that on. Damn it, man. This also came. So we got all these pieces. Uh, this also came from this. This came from the knee armor right here. 
You see right there, spikes. So that came from Neuron. So we got Saj. So look, we got Saj's weapon right here, and we've got the Graze's weapon. I combined that with another piece. Uh, this came from something. I can't remember what it was. Hmm. So this is what we're gonna. So this is the trident that Sai has. So we could we went ahead and convert that from trident. So that's his trident. That's the Grazer's trident. Look at this machine gun. The machine gun's customized, dude. We took that middle piece out right here. So we so we took that middle piece out. Still kept the underarm shield for the hand, and then we switched the tip out. This looks like a fucking silencer. It looks like a silencer but it's a harder hitting uh it's a harder hitting freaking gun. Let's put it that way. Like the regular this does shoot this shoots like cannon shells. Instead of shooting like regular machine gun rounds, it shoots cannon this 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 this, this shoots like small cannon shells. Impact is like explosive damage ex, ex, explosive shell damage to bullets. So, let's go ahead and let's look at how nice this looks. Get a better look at them. The shields. So we see the feet, heels, feet, heels. We've got those vents. We've got lights on the side. Those are lights. We've got the shields. We've got the machine gun. Kicks ass, takes name. Got the, we got the extra shoulder pads on the damn top. We've got this fucking booster pack with the shields on it. So the booster pack has shielding on it. So you, so you won't just hit it with one hit and it explodes. This shield right here will take damage. You've got freaking the booster in the back. The legs and everything looks good. The legs look good. Back looks good. The fin, the extra fin up there. The eye, you see the eye glowing. So, this is a gun though. So, let's go ahead and get this through. Got him on his own custom little diorama base. Like we got some form doing his dioramas. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So this looks badass. Like this looks like these really do like a good there. So that's the good thing about customizing these is because these right here. Hold a second. Mm, he's gonna fall. Anyways, look, look, look. Looking at these right here, they. I mean, like I say, it's a good challenge to customize the the Iron Blood Orphan Gundam to look like the Gone of War. It's a good. It's a good challenge. It's a good workout. It's, you know, gets you to thinking. And uh, the next one is. So I have three more left. I have a new bez. No, I don't. I have five, like five of them. So I have a new bez. I have Rowan. I have Diaz, the Warlord of Illusion. I think it's Warlord of Illusion. I have Topa. I have another um, Topa Rider. I have Sage of the Halo. That's six right there. So the hardest ones to find right now are uh, the hardest ones to find is Sekmet. Sekmet goes anywhere from his figure goes anywhere from like ninety to about one hundred and thirty, and then the most rare one is Kento. Kento of Hard Rock. Kento of Hard Rock. His figure goes about two hundred to three hundred bucks, which is nuts for a nineties action figure that. I'm gonna cut up and put on a Gundam. So the the problem with Kinto is that Kinto himself two hundred three hundred dollars. Then I would have to find the Gusion kit, one one hundred scale Gusion full mechanic kit, which comes with both versions of the Gusion, which is rare as hell to find as well. And then I would have to buy the custom figure, which is about another hundred and fifty. 
So that whole kit bash would be about six hundred dollars. Just a kit bash, one gun. So I'm trying to find a kento and trying to find these um and trying to find a segment. Kento and segment the only ones I need. The other ones I got. So anyways. Thank you guys for joining me. Let me know uh let me know what you like. Let, let me know if you like it. Let me know what your kit bashing ideas are. Let me know uh, if you see a kit though of Hard Rock. Not 90s action figure. Ronin War, Samurai War. Or the Mexican uh, uh, equivalent. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the flippy. Adios.